Today we are going to see 2D geometric transformations. Um, in this type of transformations, we can manipulate an object in 2D space. So for example, if you want to change the position of an object, size of an object, or orientation of the object can be done using these types of transformations. So there are two types of transformation. First one is geometric transformation in that the object is moved from one coordinate to the other coordinate. Okay, so what happens? The coordinate, original coordinate changes to the new coordinate because we are moving the object. In coordinate transformation, the object is stationary. It doesn't move. The coordinate system is moved relative to the object. Okay, so the coordinate moves here. The object is stationary. Today we are going to see basic geometric transformations such as translation, rotation, and scaling. So what is translation is moving an object is called translation. So we have an xy coordinate and that is moved to the other new coordinate x dash y dash. Okay, so x dash is x plus tx. So how much it is moved? It is moved by tx value. In y direction, y dash is equal to y plus ty. It is moved in y direction by ty distance. So this tx and ty is called as translation vector or shift vector. Now, this is a translation matrix. The matrix have x dash y dash, which is a new coordinate. And matrix is 1, 0, tx and 0, 1, ty and 0, 0, 1. And x, y are original coordinates. So this transitional matrix is multiplied with the original coordinates to get the new coordinates. We can see an example here. Here in example, we take an object at 2, comma 2. Okay. The object is shifted to the other position here. So this way it is shifted by 6 units in x axis and 4 units in y axis. So what will happen? So what is a new coordinate? The new coordinate will be in x axis it is 2 plus 6, 8. So in x axis 8 comma and in y axis it is 2 plus 4, 6. So the object is moved from 2 comma 2 to 8 comma 6. So this is called a translation from an original coordinate to a new coordinate. Original coordinate was 2 comma 2 and the shifted coordinate was 8 comma 6. Okay. This way we have to find how much it is moved in x axis, how much is moved in y axis. Okay. So if you see here, this is an object is moved in x axis and y axis and transformed to this particular place. Okay. So now we'll see rotation. A rotation repositions all the points in an object along a circular path in the plane centered at the pivot point. See, this is a position P. It moves to the P dash from the origin. Okay. And theta tells you how much it is rotated. For example, theta is positive. It will rotate in counterclockwise direction. If theta is negative, it will rotate to the clockwise direction. So here in the picture, it moves from P to P dash in counterclockwise direction. So here theta is positive. Okay. And this is rotational matrix. Cos theta minus sin theta 0, sin theta cos theta 0, 0, 0, 1. And if you see the image here, the image R is rotated by 90 degrees so that we get the output image like this. Then scaling. Scaling changes the size of an object. It involves two scale factors, Sx and Sy. Sx 
for x coordinates, s y for y coordinates. So if you see the picture here, p is an object, okay, and it is enlarged to p dash, which is in red color. So the scaling factor is important here. So the x-axis is scaled by sx and y-axis is scaled by sy. So it can magnify or reduce the size depending upon the scaling factors. For example, if the scaling constant is greater than 1, it will expand. The object will expand. If the scaling constant is less than 1, it will compress or there will be a reduction in the size of the object. If the scaling constant is 1, it then leaves the size of the object unchanged. There is no change in the size of the object. And now we will see the scaling matrix. Sx, 0, 0, 0, Sy, 0, 0, 0, 1. And this Xy are the point in the original image. It is moved to the new coordinate x dash y dash. So if you multiply the scaling factor with the original coordinates, we will get the new coordinates. If you see the picture here, it is enlarged. So the house is enlarged here. The same image will be there, but in an enlarged version. That is called scaling. And the, how much it is enlarged depends upon the scaling factors. Okay. 